Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel No Networks. In today's tutorial, we will be seeing how we can block the access to web email over your network. In our previous tutorial, we have learned about web filtering and application filtering in detail where we have uh, configured a policies in multiple combinations. We have tried to block the web access the websites to our url group filtering through a category filtering uh, thereafter we have uh, done the labs for the application filtering so moving on we will see how we can block the web email access so moving uh, starting with the configuration the very first under protect you will go to the web option over here then you will be under policies you will add a policy as you did in our last tutorial you will give the policy name as block webmail you will add a rule over here where the activities over here should be categorized as webmail let me scroll down and we will categorize the uh, activity as web email over here we are uh, doing uh, filtering on the web not on the file so we will be opting for this category where we need to do the web filtering later on when we will be doing the file filtering labs over there we will choose this option this option will be useful when you want to restrict the access of download through a web so selecting web email category you will apply this moving on the action for http is block the action for http as also you will keep it as block you will turn on this rule default action is allow which means that uh, you are blocking the access to the web email over your network but at the same time you will allow rest all the things scrolling down at the last you in the bottom you will click the save button the same policy uh, the web filter policy which you have created for web email you will apply it on your firewall rule Going to your firewall rule, rule LAN to WAN over here, scrolling down and coming to the web filtering option, you will be assigning this configured web filter policy that was block web mail and simply save the rule. Your rule is updated now so let's move on to the browser and just we will check whether our policy which we have configured is working properly or not you're trying to access yahoo mail it is giving you uh, that the administrator of this network has restricted to site categorized as a web email we uh, have restricted access and categorized that as a web email so it is blocking now moving on we will check for hotmail as well it is blocking the hotmail access as well which means that we have successfully configured our policy moving on we will see now let's assume that your uh, company has a policy where your company allowed only uh, access to the educational website and it says that rest all things should be blocked till now what we have done is we have chosen the specific uh, part to be block and rest all things to be allowed till now in all our labs in our previous tutorial also we have seen the same thing now uh, our requirement is totally reversed over here we are saying that uh, we will be allowing only a specific thing that is the educational site and rest all things we are going to block so what we will do we will be creating a policy web policy we will say add policy and we will write access allow educational sites description is optional you will add a rule over here and then over here you will be removing all web traffic and you will add a, let me scroll down again you will say view all and you will just choose an educational category over here educational institution apply moving on here you have to allow so you will 
be saying allow HTTP, you will say allow HTTPS, you will turn on the rule and as I told you, rest all thing need to be block. So you will say block HTTP and default action is block. You will simply add the rule, so, sorry, sorry, you will simply scroll down and you will save this policy. Now going to firewall rules over here. You will apply this web policy to the firewall rule. Over here, you will say allow educational sites and save it. We will test our policy now. But before that, I would like to show you something when you have chosen for uh, the category educational institution, what all things are being there in that particular category. So let me say just save this configuration. Yeah, this configuration is saved now. So moving on to the web again, going to the category. Let's see what is there in the educational institution category. Educational institution. Okay, going on over here. It is saying that sites sponsored by school, colleges, institutes, online education, and other educational facilities by non-academic research institution or that relate to educational events and activities are allowed. Again, moving on to Google browser, Google Chrome browser, we will go to google.com. It is block, right? The Google is block. So now let's go to some educational website like once, sorry, sorry. www dot any educational website it can be like uh... so guys i went to the website for mumbai university and you can see that this website is accessible since it is a uh, categorized as educational institution but at the same time I went to google.com it is block so this demonstrate that our policy is working as per our requirement when I tried to access google.com it was blocked whereas when I tried to access educational website like Mumbai University website it was accessible so in this way either you can use the web filtering policy to block a specific thing and allow rest all the things or allow certain things as per your corporate policy and block everything on the network so that's all for this tutorial guys thanks for watching if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share with your friends see you in the next video